Okay, so when you have a project like this, you want to reset it. So I'm going to go file, just go reset, because um, I've already saved it, so what the heck, and say yes. Now, when you save in 3ds Max, you want to make sure that you're saving versions, all right? Because 3ds Max often crashes, and even if you're saving your version, you're saving it over the same name, when it crashes, it can sometimes corrupt what you've done. So you want to make sure that you save as different versions. One way to do that, if you go save as, there's a little plus button right here, and that allows you to save increment as version 1, version 2, version 3. You want to save often, OK? And I, you know, it's just the same story. I mean, all of us who have worked in computers a lot are you, have had those nightmare stories where we just lost everything. And so eventually, you learn to back up if it's not, if it, uh, uh, painfully. Now, there's actually, when 3ds Max comes up to you, there's actually th four views. There's a perspective, the front view, a top view, and a left view. So really, as your scenes get more complex, you're actually going to want to use these different views. So if I draw a box here, then what happens is it shows me the different views. So if I draw a, a ball right next to it, let's say a sphere, then it allows me to, in a sense, know where I'm positioned from the different views. And so if you need to get something really accurate, you'll be using snap or you'll be using these, these different views. But as your scenes get more complex, you definitely will be using these three different uh, top, front, and bottom. I also noticed that, that on the perspective view, it, it is a true perspective. So if you put it farther away, you can lose the relative size it is to right. where it, it, it was if it were centered. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and reset this. And we're going to draw a telescope. So if you want the whole screen, you just hit Alt-W. That gives you the full screen. And this is the funnest thing we're going to draw. So as, and we're going to show you, how, once again, how to use this multiple selection deal or this multiple copy deal will help us do this. So what I'm going to do is just bring out a cylinder on the stage. There you go. And I'll just bring it up. There you go. And I want to rotate it, so I'll just hit the E key so I can rotate down. And look at the numbers at the bottom. See at the X there, how I can see how many degrees I'm at? And I want to, of course, go to 90 degrees. I didn't quite get there, so I can just make sure I get there. OK? So I typed it in. Now, I want to build a telescope. So what does a telescope look like? Well, it has many cylinders inside that you pull out, OK? So let's go ahead and just select this right here. And let me go to uh, Q, excuse me. And let's think, what do I need to do? I need to make copies of the cylinder, so I'd use the Shift key, right? But I want to shrink it all together, so I'd use the shrink command, which would be what? W-E-R, B-R. But then once I shrink it, I want to make multiple shrinks, so it shrinks several times. So I can do it all at once. I'm going to come along here and hit the W key, I mean the R key, excuse me. And what I'm going to do is hold the Shift key down. And, not, and, and what I want to do is actually just shrink two components. So let me show you how this goes. If I shrink this side, that's what I want to do. You see that? Two sides. If I shrunk that, then I'd be shrinking it all. So that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to grab those two sides right there. I'm going to hold my Shift key down as I shrink. OK? Now, I can't really tell what's happening right there. That's really frustrating me. So I'm going to Control-Z that. I want to get out, get out of that, cancel that. And I'm going to go back Alt-W and get back into these perspective views. Can actually see what's happening here. So now if I come along here and I hold the Shift key down and I shrink, I can see that, see that inner cylinder? Up there on the front, you guys look at front. You see that inner cylinder there? Now I can see what's happening. So there's, you can see there's already a use for that. I hit OK, and that's good, but how many copies do I want? Well, let's say three. And I hit OK, boom. Now I have three copies of that. So I'm ready to get in there and edit that. Oh, this is going to be really fun. Let's go back to Perspective View and hit uh, Alt-W. Good. Now, but I've got a problem. How do I grab them? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually grab them by name. I'm going to hit my H key. All right. And give it a second to come up. We're fighting the processor here. So I hit my H key, and now they've come up by name, cylinder 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's grab cylinder 2. I click on that. Hit OK. And hit my W key. And then I slide out cylinder 2. Well, didn't work. Let's try it one more time. Let's hit the H key. Did I? Yeah, it didn't make sense, did it? There you go. Good. That's better. OK. And now I can hit my slide key. Yay! There you go. I got one out. That's one side of the telescope. So let H key again. And let's hit the next one. Hit OK. So now you can see where this is very useful as far as getting a hold of these things. I'm going to slide that one out. Whoa, there you go. 
Now I can't see it all, so I'm hit Control P so I can get my pan hand going, just pan forward. That doesn't change the drawing anyway, just moves you what you're seeing. I'm going to go back to my H key again. And the last one, hit OK. OK, and make sure I got the W key selected, and let's pull that all the way out. There we go, we got my telescope. Now, we're not done. All right, we're going to do a little bit more. First thing we're going to do, however, is group this whole thing together. So I'm going to hit my Q key, so I have my selection, and I'm going to marquee around everything. And see, i got a circular marquee. I don't really like that that much. Happens sometimes when you're using control keys, you get out what you're, the mode. Here, now let me select all that. And it just has to go over a piece of it. I'm going to go back to my uh, wireframe mode, which is uh, F4 key. So I can actually see the wireframe. There you go. So now you can tell when I'm selected and not selected. So everything's selected. I'm going to go ahead and group it. So let's go group. Cool. We'll call it telescope. So what I want to do now is go ahead and create an edible poly. So I'll convert to edible poly. And let's hit Control R to kind of ro arc rotate around a little bit here. And I, what I want to do is work on this front lens a little bit. So, um, but I'm not seeing my edible poly over here. And that's bothering me. So why? Because I'm in a group. I want to actually go in and work on each individual thing. So I'm going to open. So I actually get in there and work on something. Let's go back to Q. And there I, I can work on that now. And here's my edible poly. So I'm going to go to vertex mode. I'm going to just going to, by marking around, grab those front set of vertex, vertices. You see that? And now what I'm going to do is hit R. And I'm just going to expand it out. There you go. Let's uh, control R, arc rotate around. And what I'm going to do now is hit that, I can hit the four key to get on my polygons. Click on that. And what I want to do is use my bevel again. Control Shift B. Let's bevel in a little bit and bevel in. There you go. There's a that's the first part of my telescope. Control R. I rotate around. Good. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's make the back part of my telescope. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to hit this right. Let's go ahead and once again hit my control P to pan over. Control R to move around. And I'm going to hit my uh, one key to get vertices and highlight around. But I didn't get it. Why not? Because I'm still on this edible poly. I want to move over to this edible poly. I'm editing inside of a group. Go to that. And I'm just going to get off of that. Now I should be able to click on that. There we go. Now we're on this edible poly. I'm going to marquee around those last few lines. Uh, let's go to vertices. That's where I want to be on. I'll hit the one key to move me down to vertices. Marquee around that. And then I just bring that out. Uh, control R to uh, arc rotate around. Going to go to forward, select polygon. That's the face of the polygon. Control Shift B to do a bevel and bevel in. And I'm going to do one more thing just to make this a little bit, a little more attractive. Rotate around. I, I'm going to grab these vertices if I can. And I'm just going to select around these few. There we go. This is few right here. And I'm going to use the W key here just to push it in a little bit. Oh, well, come on. Control Z to go back to selection. And let's push that in just a little bit. There we go. Well, Control R. There you go. Well, it's kind of looking like something. Still a little bit of work to be done there. I might want to push that in just a little bit more. And then we're done with our telescope. Let's hit 4. Uh, let's Control Shift B and bevel that in a little bit. There you go. Control R. And there you go, you got a telescope. Let's go ahead and hit Shift uh, Q to render that. And there you have it. Ta da! And that was pretty cool, pretty fast, wasn't it? Good. And that was, I was trying.